All right, before I start spilling it, man, let me let me just open this up with a round of applause. Oh, yeah. Give him a couple right, of them. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, we're gonna stop it and we're gonna hit it again because oh. celebrating. This is a celebration on a lot of levels. It's yeah, a lot man. of levels, man. We oh, want to welcome to the show, man. Uh, this is the first, the first of many, man. We appreciate you because you are family of the show, literally. And uh so, we welcome in Devin to the show, man. We, sir. We not just talking about it, man. We want to celebrate, man. Celebrate the raw tape. This is his new, new, new project he just released, man. Um, hey, I, I'm a, I'm a little excited to talk about this. I can't lie, Devin. I cannot lie. I'm excited to talk to you about this. But before we do that, man, I just I'll give you the floor to introduce yourself, man. We welcome you here, so we'll let you introduce yourself. Yeah, man. I'm uh Devin. Uh, so some of the audience do know who I am if you haven't. Mm -hmm. Hope y'all get to tap in real soon and check out the music. Artist from uh, Joliet. I got a lot coming. It's just the tip of the iceberg right now. Yeah, man. Hey, where can they find you at as far as social media? Yeah, on social. Uh, I got to get more active on there. I'm, I'm, I'm in my uncle's stage of life, so I'll be on there. But... <laughs> that's, that's a fact. I'm big on, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm big. I'm gonna hit thirty. Nah, Come nah, on, I man. You, nah, I thought nah. you were gonna say something. I'm swiping, I was, swiping nah. on the phone. <laughs> oh, nah, <laughs> nah. You, you little. Um, I, I, well, you might be little. Um, I mean, I think I'm at young OG status. <laughs> I, I, I got grandkids already. I know I am. What? Mm -hmm. You beat me? Yeah, I beat you. Oh, oh, man. Yes, that's a race I want to lose. <laughs> 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 That's one of the few races I'm happy to lose. But man, I just want to start this thing off, man, by telling you, man, I appreciate this music. I appreciate you. Um, and I'm I will take my lumps. I will take my lumps because I should have been in tune mm. uh, long <laughs> ago. I, I shouldn't have took me this long to get in tune. It it definitely should have, shouldn't have, but now that I'm here, I'm here. You you got a fan mm. with me, 100 percent man. And this album. I, I didn't want to say this because I I don't like to compare people because I don't want to do that with expectations and I don't want to make it seem like you sound like this person. But I want to say this album gives me Ross vibes. I didn't say nothing when you said it because it was uh, already yeah, in my head. That's yeah, why I ignored yeah. it. But, and I only say that because Ross is high up on my list because not only flow and lyrics, Ross has a super, super ear for production. Yes. And his ear for production is amazing. And so I'm going to say that. I'll let these brothers say what they got to say. And then, you know, we'll talk about the album some more. Uh, just piggybacking off that, uh, like I said, with that production, just, I mean, next level shit, just because, I mean, like I said, man, Devin is family. Like, growing up, I, I man, just as from a shorty, you know what I'm saying? Even remember when he, well, as much as I remember when I saw that he started rapping, like, bro, like, Devin is a vet in the game. And so that's why I shouldn't be as shocked when it comes, when, when, uh, with this raw tape and how good production wise it was. And I'm talking about, I'm telling you, like, man, somebody that's not from the town, that like just, man, just, like, just to give this a play, man, they be like, damn, like, who was that? Like, that, that, that's how professional, you know, you, you can hear, when it's like an a, a underground sound to something that actually was some work put into it. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? And I, I felt that in, 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 with the raw tape. I agree. You want to start it off with question? Devin, uh, they, yeah, it, they know you, man. I don't know you, but I, I'm going to definitely say I know you through your music now, man. But I, like Tone said with the comparisons, I wanted to say uh, I, I felt some old school, but I'm not going to put that on you. I'm not definitely not gonna put that on you, cause I, I'm an old school type dude. But I was actually vibing to your music, man. Vibing to the whole, the, the, just letting the tracks, the tracks go one by one by one, going on down the list, man. So yeah, you you definitely gained a fan as far as me, man. As far as that, I'm definitely feeling the vibe of the music, man. You're doing good stuff, man. Uh, got one question to ask you. I'm, I'm, I'm y'all mind if I kick it off with a no, question? No, no, let's do it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay with my, with, my old, with my old school vibe. Because I ain't going to call Like I said, I ain't finna call you, you know, old school. But the raw tape. Just just, just looking at the at, at the raw and the, and the raw is in red. I'm looking at the cover, man. It, 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 what's, what's up with the, with the tape? I'm actually loving it. Hello? 
I'm back now. I couldn't hear you. The connection for a minute. Okay. You got us now? Yeah. Okay. Did you hear uh, see yeah, that question? You get the question? I Oh, okay. Well, no, I was yeah, I was basically just asking, man. I, I had a question about the, the the title of the album, man. The, the raw tape. I'm I'm loving it. I'm 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 loving the graphics on it, man. And it just just how how'd you come up with the raw tape? And then oh. I, I ain't gonna even lie too. I, I did sneak on your uh, on your on your social medias, man. And I saw <laughs> I, I saw the little picture of that of the, of the raw little, little little rappers up on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just smoke. Man, it um it had a kind of a multiple meaning thing to me. Um, obviously, you know, bees first and foremost. I smoke bees all day long throughout the process. Just a, a series of smoking, but for me, I wanted it to mean raw, like honest too. Um, yeah. I, the, all the years that I've been doing music, I feel like this is the, the 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 most solidified in my sound that I have been. So it was like, okay, just just be you on every single song. Just do whatever come in your brain and just live in that moment and live in that thought. So uh, the raw part is definitely to capture the smokers and to, to capture that part of me, but it's like really just honest. I want people to really know when you listen to this, I'm really just telling my story. I ain't trying to be nobody else. I'm just trying to be a one-on-one. -on -one. That's a fact. Yeah. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. What you thinking, bro? You got anything? Yeah, I got a question for you. Uh, big bro, Um, I said just uh, anybody that listens to this, uh, just give this album a try. You can really I say you can you can get that raw feel, you know what I'm saying? You can you can you can you can feel a lot of personal stuff coming out, as you know what I'm saying, from from the rapper, you know what I'm saying? And so that that makes it easier to listen to than just music that you just listen to and just something that you just hear like yeah, same sound, same sound. So by saying that, I got a quick question of uh, just comparing your sound to like the new school rap, and I just want to ask like, is it hard to try to stay relevant knowing that? Uh, uh, it's a new era of rap, and many uh, is and it's pretty much is not too many of uh, original lyrical rappers that's that's pretty much still left in the game. Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 man, it, it's me. It's a combination of man, cause like y'all said, we at that uncle age. So, like J Cole, Middle Child, song perfectly put it. We at that generation mm -hmm. where we're against the stuff versus what it is now, and we kind of stuck in the middle. So with the music that I'm making, I had to be clear with my own expectations because I know it's not necessarily popular music was going on with everybody else out here. Right. Mm -hmm. And also for me to continue to grow it, I know that I got to get out of my shell and do more social media and post more pictures and, and do more shows and interact with more artists and features and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's challenging because it's different, but at the same time, it's been a lot of fun. I probably, I know I did seven features today. I probably did like, Maybe twenty eight of them in total in the last like month or two. Mm, so it's work. It's given a lot of opportunity to um, just play with different stuff and and try to you know get in with that that newer culture and that newer energy and and, and I try to learn from them instead of just you know getting my uncle on and just saying that ain't for me. So right, right, yeah, that was something I had to come around to as well. Like giving giving stuff a try, man. Just just yeah. you know just checking it out, you know. So my biggest draw from this project, man, I wanted to immediately ask you, but I didn't want everybody to know when I was hitting you before, I, I was like, I got some questions, but I save them. The production on this thing, man, let me ask you, is you have a team or is that just you? Regardless to whichever the answer is, yeah, it's fine. Right, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> you just gonna get more <laughs> accolades based off yeah. your answer. But the production is on fire on this 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 whole thing. Is that you or a team? Um. So the uh, I and our the whole thing. I picked every single beat, which mm. for, for people to even say that to me is is a good thing because I had Nas complex for a while. I picked the bad beats. Oh, I just yeah. <laughs> So everybody been giving me love on the beats on there, but it was just really just hours and hours of listening to beats. And um, every time I hear something I like, it'll line up with an idea that I have or a thought that I have at that moment. And just creating from that energy there. And next thing I know, it's a song. Mm, that's what's up, man. That's, yeah, I got to give you huge praise on the, on the production on this album. Yeah, that, that's good to hear because with that, picking the beats and then I think picking the right features too because even the features got on here is yeah. like it, it, it fits mm -hmm. it, it fits good like yeah, that's that's crazy yeah. uh victory 815 that's the other half of hustler zinc um i don't know if y'all had a chance to listen i also have a group 
uh, out on all platforms right now. Hustle Zinc with me and Victor. Uh, okay. We got coming as well. Um, oh, he, you know, I had, like, you know, that was my brother. I had, you know, went through some challenging times before I got, got to this. And he was one of the people that just kept telling me, like, man, this is you, this is you, this is you. So it was important for me to start in, in the project with him, too. It was just, like, authentic to the energy that was around. Oh, okay. Right. Shout out to him, man. man. Yeah. yeah, shout out to him. That's good stuff. You're right. Damn. Yeah, that's whew, good stuff, man. What you got? I, I, hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm finna go back to the vibe again. <laughs> hey, Matter of fact, uh, you want you, you want to play missions? Yeah. Okay, I, I, bro. This is one so, <laughs> so before you play this, I. <laughs> I, I just think, I mean, because I think we all are agreeing as far as this is probably one of our yeah, one of our yeah, favorite absolutely. tracks on here. But yeah. after you play this, I just want you y'all to hear the the, the, the reaction afterwards. As far as well, I'm gonna be honest. I this this project, I I have some that I like more. I got a hard time seriously finding a favorite. I like this album so much, bro. Yeah, I'm 100% yeah, yeah. that I have a hard time finding the favorite. I do got some that I definitely have have hit repeat and I've listened yeah. to three, four, four, five times. But bro, that, for the most part, I let this thing ride. What's, what's the one with the uh, levels? No, no, no. It, oh, is it I think levels? Is, is that the one with the uh, with the other feature? No, the, levels is the the elevator joint, right? Yeah. Nah, which which yeah. one is the one? Well, oh, we gonna get into one, this one because yeah. this one CeeLo uh really want, want, was vibing with man. Yeah, and I wanted to, listen, man. Yeah, hey, this hey, is this hey, is one hey, of my favorites hey, too. I'm for the quote on here too for what he played, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of talking about it. It's, it's about that time. It's about I, that I love time. that, bro. Yeah. Hey, I had a couple drops I was gonna use on here because I've been using a lot of a lot of lingo from the from the project. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it, man. I'm a big fan of what y'all do. I ain't get a chance to tell y'all that. But ever since uh, day one, like you said, y'all family, um, you know, watching, kind of keeping it tuned and watching y'all grow and see other people and in, in, uh, in the back with y'all and seeing people around the town. It, it's been love, man. It's been incredible to see y'all do it. Man, we appreciate, appreciate it, man. It. I'm glad we could. And that's what it's about, man. This podcast started out as far as reciprocating, you know what I'm saying? Being a voice. You know, our voice, not only our voice, but lending a voice to people like like yourself. You know what I'm saying? And other people, man. Like, this is a way that we can reciprocate the love from one another. You know what I mean? Like, what you're doing, what we're doing, you know, it's that's how it should be, man. It, it should be reciprocated that way. But I don't want to cut CeeLo off because I'm vibing. Like, I'm like, hey, you I'm gonna start rapping this? I already said my code, man. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm... This one, this one hit hard for me, man. Hey, can, can you just take us uh, through, like, making this track? Because it, it sounds like it's personal. Yeah. Like, it was a personal. Talking about the pandemic, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. So this one here, uh, man, really, ironically, I was just sitting in my car, and I was smoking, scrolling through beats. I'm always listening to beats. Even when y'all just called, I have my AirPod in, I'm listening to beats. Mm -hmm. As soon as you catch me, the idea lined up with the beat, I'm writing so I was just sitting there vibing with this one day and I had actually wrote the verse first before I wrote the hook. And then in the middle of me writing the verse, I had wrote the hook. And when I wrote it, I was like, ooh, that's different right there. Yeah. So then I had actually, um, I had sent it to Vic. I was gonna have Vic to get on it. Um, but then the day I sent it to him, I had just sat down with it again and wrote the other verse. And I was just like, no, nah, I, gotta, I gotta keep this here. And it just, I, this is my personal favorite song about the old, Oh, record! It just oh yeah, ambitious person. The whole theme of the album in itself is ambition. So this particular record here was my personal ambition. It's about man. It's, it ain't no more talking about what you want to do, what you want to see. You just get out there and you get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was this was the first time during this album where. I got a confession. <laughs> this, this was the first time. I did an old school. I rolled down the window so people could hear what I was listening to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I give me all the beer. And when the beat drop, hey, day I grind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that yeah, I, hey, hey, that's you, my confession, you man. Said you took the hat, make that mean face. Yeah, I took the hat off, almost threw this one mm. out the window. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hey, survive. Yeah. But, but no, like I said, uh, I actually, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to listening to more music from you and uh, Vic because that no secret is most definitely just, I mean, just 
I think that I believe is that, that the, that's the first track though. The first, first track. track, yes. So, and, no, and, so and come hats on. off to you for, for banging out a first track like yeah, that. Yeah, for real. Because folks usually don't yeah, put the first yeah, but, track as a, as a banger like that. Well, I mean, you got to set the mood. I yeah. believe, cause, and it shows like they, well, them two feet together, like they they got chemistry together. Yeah, yeah. So like like he said, either you you put some in perspective. I have to cut you off. But no, you put no. some in perspective. Perspective. You want to start it off with a victory, and you want to actually want to end it with victory. So mm. that. That shows a lot of you also, man. Good stuff, though, bro. Yeah. Real good stuff, man. That's good love, too. Let's get into a little bit of that. That no secrets. Dirty secrets. I can't lie, all quarantine, me and my team got high. Eyes got low, but the dough on the rise. When you live in the truth, you don't acknowledge the lies. Facts. Uh, I can't lie, all quarantine, me and the team got high. Eyes got low, but the dough on the rise. When you live in the truth, you don't acknowledge the lie. I let them say what they say, cause my pay is my pay. And no matter the hate, I gotta make what I make. To put the food on the plate, what do they know when you wait? Come my way to arms to send your boy arms like Drake. There's no debate. Worst thing you can do is underestimate. I'm always on my paper chasing hell and on my elevate. Don't see me outside much. I work my way to delegate. But disrespect how I talk about regulating. Man, yeah, that there, man. That that was a hell of a way to start this project off, man. Yes, that yes, that that thing there, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you that thing, that, 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 that the tone is that was that your intention? Yeah. So my homie uh, Quiz, shout out to Quiz, um, Jalen Carter, uh, clothing CEO. He, um, we've been doing a lot of music over the years. So when I was doing the records, as I was uh, initially, I didn't even have a plan to do a project. It was. All of my music had got stolen out of my car. I've been recording for 20 plus years. Jeez. All my music on there and somebody stole it out of my car. Mm. And I was a person that all listened to myself. I never listened to, you know, other music. Yeah. So when I didn't have nothing no more, I was like, I got to create. So as I was creating, I was sending it to him. And when I first decided to put this project together, I had the order all wrong. And he was like, man, you got the songs, but this order bogus. Just that's how it is. <laughs> and what he said, to me, you know, it was, you know, basically the, the shape of what it ended up being. I made a couple adjustments, but that's the, the gist of what he had sent me. But the flow, like my own songs, they started feeling different to me. And that's when I learned that, man, order is important. Like, mm-hmm. I don't have to the same way. It is. It flowed perfectly to me. Yeah. I mean, like that, just the list and way it flowed. Like, I got into the mode where I wasn't even listening for like, you know how you, you kind of hear, some, you kind of stay with a a format during the album. Like I'm talking about this on this block of the album. So I'm gonna stick with that. That went out the window for me. I just felt the vibe, the vibe yeah, flowed. Yeah. Even when it went into more personal tracks, like, which is something I wanna, I have a question about the, the Haley song. Cause I, man, hey, you put me in the mind. I said, hey, I need to know this bitch tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, but the lyrics in that song, yeah, like, yeah, you really think like it was personal. Shouts, yeah. out, shouts out to you, man, to, to to continue that relationship, man, and put it on out there, man, on, on that song too, man. I was mad. Yeah. I was about to, man, I was about to call your personal. I was like, hey, well, she tripping, yeah. tripping. <laughs> like, what's going on? Haley song, Haley song, the question. So Haley song is kind of like a part two to the question because they tell the story from the same situation. So mm-hmm. question tells, you know you know, me saying, okay, I got to come to terms with this. I got to leave. Ain't nothing else I could give her. I can't make her happy. So mm-hmm. let me leave. But a part of this, I have to understand the pain that's going to come with it. And the pain that's going to come with it is Haley's song. Because, like, you know, her, she got her father already. It ain't like you just going to be like, hey, you come be my daddy, I'm my baby other dad, too. You know, so it was yeah. like I had her go in the midst of that relationship. So that's mm-hmm. where that's coming from. It was just... Like she, I, I got a lot of kids that's not mine. Like I got like 10 guy kids, I got my own two kids, I got grandkids. I, I'm taking kids, care kids all my life. Mm-hmm. But this time that one's ever been taken from me that I've had around. So it was just a different feeling for me. Which is an which is another topic that for another uh subject later in the podcast. Like that's something we need to touch on, especially as black fathers. Like the the we we never really talk about the aspect of the stepfather or the, or I don't even want to call him stepfather, the father who comes into a child's life. Yeah. And then when that relationship doesn't work out, nobody ever thinks because it's a man and we always supposed to just be tough and rough and oh whatever it is, what it is, but they never talk about the feelings of that, that man and how much that hurts him 
for having to break a bond that he spent however many years building. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, it was the same thing. Like I'm, it was, it was almost like holding my own son for the first time, even though she wasn't a newborn baby no more. You know, our kids right. have a way to you; they love you without actually saying "I love you." Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But everyday thing, like you know, I look at this girl. This really became my daughter. I always said I don't want a daughter, but this really became my daughter. I'm with her every day, and and, and I'm. Helping her through the vital parts of her life. She's a little girl still. I'm still helping her grow and I'm a part of shaping this and whatnot. So that just became something to get really ingrained to. And, and like I said, question ended up coming because I probably held on longer than I should have, but I did that for her. So yeah, and it's hard to let that go. Yeah, it is. That so shout out to you, man. That that's that's a huge thing. Yeah, uh man, just um, like I said, you mentioned man, writing music for 20 plus years in the game. I said, man, Devin is a vet. Um, I, I, I honestly believe that this project most definitely it 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 it, it could take him to that next level. I oh, mean, I'm talking sure. about putting it in the right ears. I'm talking about it, it. It can most definitely be a thing. And I mean, I'm 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 honored for us to be one of the few people, you know what I'm saying, to actually acknowledge it. And it's not just because, you know what I'm saying, that's fam. And like, no, we 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 keep shit real on here. Yeah. And like I said, and I, I can tell you right now, once I've had five, because I won, I think Tone Five was one of the first ones to actually listen to it. Once I finally mm -hmm. put it on, it's been on repeat. I, I just I just got my haircut to, to listen to your shit. We we before we called you, we was bummy like I've been working all week listening to it. like, bro, this this this, yeah. this this project is is refreshing for me just just to know that we still have these type of rappers in the game yeah and this is one of my last questions i have for you bro is uh just knowing where you came from which is the town you know what i'm saying do you feel that your elevation as a rapper has surpassed the expectations coming from like a hometown like a joliet and if so what is something that you can give to a up and coming underground rapper that's trying to make it in the game okay oh good questions um as far as like talent, like, you know, exceeding the town or, you know, being bigger than the town, mm -hmm. I put myself like local. Even when I wasn't putting out music or anything like that, one of the things that I constantly said promoting this album, when my shit come out, don't treat my shit like it's local, treat my shit like it's global. Mm -hmm. right. 100 plus countries. I spent a lot of time, a lot of money on this. Yes. Professionally, um, one of the producers that was on, on my record, he had two, uh, two records on there, Nate Rose. He actually uh, got uh, produced the record uh, Your Mind Still with Young Blue and Drake. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's like, good. Uh, you, know, you know, this is, like I said, everything into this. So it's like, I've never looked at it like it was global, a local from day one. Right. Um, as far as anybody else, I would just say, man, the biggest thing is being authentic to yourself. Um, and that's a struggle for me because, like, man, how do you stand out when everybody else is just... Yeah. Uh, Dollars everywhere, gold teeth, you know, gold mm -hmm. chain. No, no, not to everybody. I ain't trying to diss nobody, but mm -hmm. never been the flashy person. I still kind of always been you. Yeah, you know, I just now I'm the nigga with the book bag. Everybody knows me for pulling up with the gift. <laughs> 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 that's it. That that's funny because I that resonated with me. Mm -hmm. Like right away is I thought about that, and I said the same thing because that's a problem that we face. That's a that's a global you know, problem like that ain't just on rap on the rap level. Cause we face the same thing as a podcast. Like how mm -hmm. do you stand out when everybody is winning with the fuck shit? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They feed into the nonsense and people feed into the, the, the beefs and the BS, but we don't want to always promote that. Yeah. We'll give our opinion on it from time to time, but we still going to do us. You right. know what I'm saying? And so trying to get people to appreciate you for who you are, and it's just seeing through the BS and re recognizing the talent. It's sometimes tough, but it's a road I'm willing to travel. And we've yeah. been traveling for a year now. Yeah. So yeah. seeing that you doing the same thing, man, that was more refreshing too. Like when I heard the album, because I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was about to hear some auto tune and just, you know, because that's what's popping and that's what mm -hmm. people do. Let me go with the sound now instead mm -hmm. of let me go with my sound. And so, yeah. Yeah, I. That's why I I fucks with this album. That's why I, I commend you for what you did, and and I mean it's a steady dose of of you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I've listened to a lot of music, bro. And music to me, a lot of artists get boring after like two or three tracks. And some of the the greatest, and I'm not I'm not friends. Some of the greatest artists I listen to, and I don't want to call no names, but after two or three songs, 
it's like white noise. <laughs> like I just and it, and it definitely just, ain't no replay value. So yeah, I mean, and definitely no, ain't gonna put that out. This music on. these days, it's not a lot yeah. of replay value. So the fact that I've listened to this thing probably five to ten times already, and I'm still listening to it, the replay value is there. Like the skill is there, the production is there. Like you hit on all points. I think the only thing you're missing at this point is the right ear to hear this. Mm-hmm. Not not from your standpoint. I think you're doing everything that you need to do on your end, even to the point I, I bro, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not trying to act like I'm some big yeah. guy who knows a bunch of people. I'm being completely honest. I do have a buddy that I used to mess around with music with who's in Atlanta. Shout out to Trey. And he, I think is one of the few artists slash producers who should have been multimillionaire, if not from writing from, you know, from his own, that's still in, in the background, you know what I'm saying? But we didn't got older. So, you know, of course music ain't his thing no more, but his son is still making music, but I'm definitely going to make sure I sing your album to him. Because he he knows a lot of people. So I think your shit should be heard in other places. You know what I mean? Because you're not, to, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I know no, I'm talking a little too much, no, but one thing I noticed about your album, your album doesn't have a, it doesn't have a, a marker on it as far as location. If I listen to this and I'm an outside ear, I don't know where you are from. Mm-hmm. I hear a little bit of Midwest. I hear a little bit of South. I hear a little bit of East, East Coast, yeah. So it's which makes it universal to me. So it's it's easy to digest. Like I I love it. Like you you don't sound like you don't have a stamp on you. Like oh yeah, this is that down south dude. You know oh yeah, this is that I know where he's from. Right. I honestly would not be able to tell if, if I wasn't you know if I was just an outsider if I didn't know already. All right, let's just go ahead and say, man, Griselda signed this man, man. Go ahead and sign him, man. <laughs> Come on, Griselda. Give me all that, Benny. <laughs> Benny, give, give a man. A lot of things that I did when I in preparation to this, like it's a it's a whole story that like I said lead into me uh, doing this project. Like um, like I said, so it started now. Like 2020 for me started before coronavirus kicked in. It started with a house fire. You mm. know, so you burn down, you lose everything. So I'm not even thinking about music at this point. I'm thinking this is the last thing I'm gonna ever do at the end of my life. Yeah. Go through that, then it's the pandemic. Then he's dealing with the fallout from the pandemic or whatnot, then it's transitioning to work from home man, and the complications of dealing with that shit all while you practically homeless. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, relationship failing, you know, gave everything to this person and whatnot. So you got all of these things going on around you, but like I said, every single time life coming back full circle will always lead you back to passion and never leads you back to money. And passion for me was music mm-hmm. that I've been doing this since I was 14 years old. It started in detention on a piece of paper just scribbling with my friends and that was something I do every day. For the rest of my life, like you know, is like I can't turn it off even if I wanted to, even yeah. when I wasn't. And um, like I said, the whole theme of the project for me listening to it. Number one, I listen to like so much music. Like Griselda is a big influence. Uh, Ross is an influence. Jay is an influence. Um, Joe Budden, one of my favorite rappers of all time. People get clowned, but he he got a way uh, getting on the stage and living his truth, regardless of what nobody think about. Fact. It. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. That's what make him a success now. Even without music, that's just who he is as a person. Yeah. You know, it, so I, I took all of these different elements and I wanted to create different sounds from all these different elements as, you know, thank you for the inspiration. But the main thing that I wanted anybody to take away from this project is ambition. Like, if you listen to the way that I speak about money, if you listen to the way that I speak about anything, it's always to the progression of next. It's never, I have this. It's never, I'm richer than you. I'm better than you or anything. It's all driving. I want, I'm going to get, I'm chasing, you know. Mm -hmm. I heard that throughout the album. Mm -hmm. Smoke alone, eat a little weed. Like I said, shit, I can't stress through this shit. I spent too much money on it. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Fact. You got to dig up, bro. That's it, man. Just, hey, I can't wait to give uh, the T-shirt, man. I'm gonna continue. Definitely gonna continue on listening, bro. I mean, is that hey, real, or is that just something you cooked hey, up real quick? Jay, I would tell you right now, if we don't get our shirts, I'm gonna bootleg that mug. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Hey, this motherfucker got a T-shirt press right over there. Anybody <laughs> else that's watching, um, uh, the raw tape T-shirts, Outlast Custom. Shout out to uh, KT. There's a uh, Outlast Custom T-shirt. So Outlast T-shirts on uh, Instagram. Okay. Uh, snap that. You can put in your order, get a shirt. Make sure y'all send me y'all sizes. I'm gonna get y'all uh, some down there. And then also, uh, right now, I'm trying to lock you in a show 
in Houston, actually, for July 23rd. Mm. Oh, okay. If I'm able to uh, lock that up, shout out to uh, Jelly at Doe. We're working on that right now, trying to uh, put that together. If I can get that, I'm actually previewing some new music down there. Um, I got another project coming on New Year's Eve, guarantee. I haven't decided if I'm going to give you the Raw Take 2 or the West Camp Secret, but December 31st, that's coming. And the hustle's ink in between there, so... I'm working. Yeah, hey, I'm definitely that, working. Hey, that all, oh, yeah. that, that, that all sound good, man. Uh, for for somebody that's uh new, as far as uh to tell to your discography, is it somewhere that they can go back and check out some of your older projects? Um, if you have that piff available, um, I have an older project on there called the Arrival EP. Okay. Um, sound quality wise, and then, but it's it's a lot of good music. And lay the foundation. You can hear like through the story and the bars on there. Mm-hmm. I get the point. Um, it's a lot of good music on there. Uh, SoundCloud, anybody on there? I still have a lot of uh, older records on SoundCloud. Um, mm-hmm. I'm upload some new ones on there real soon. Um, I just haven't got around to it yet. Honestly, I kind of be forgetting it exists. I'll be high. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shit happens. <laughs> hey, one thing. Let me. Let, there's another track I want to kind of not really get into. One thing before you go to that track, though. Mm-hmm. One thing, another thing to touch back on what you said about uh, the local. So I, I got this obsession with checking my numbers. So when I go through distribution, I kind of check and see where my friends at. So as of today, right now, we are uh, 85.5K around the world. But the key, to that, What's up? the key to that is looking at it. And when I look at my top three, the United States is number one, of course. Mm-hmm. But number two is the UK. And number three is Russia. You got to go. Yeah. Hey, okay. take hey, bro, as soon, soon, soon as this world open you. back up, bro, get out of this country, man. Yeah, but no, no, ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> you need us to go to you need us to go to Russia with you. You, uh, you need us to go to Russia with you. We be a whole promotional team. Good family, we travel together. That's facts. That's facts. Hey, let's do it. like flexing on numbers or anything like that is the world is so much bigger than where we're from. And and I know he's there from a small town. Joliet was my life for 20 plus years. Mm-hmm. I, like first time a girl took me to the suburbs around here, my mind was blown because this is my life. Like the world is just yeah. so, so never stop doing you because the people closest to you may not like it or the people next door might not like it. Somebody overseas might like it. Somebody anywhere else. If different as a brand, people buy that shit. Yeah. Hey, we when I found out we had like Ireland listeners, like one week I had pulled up numbers and I saw the numbers from Ireland. I was like, I, I was like you, I was blown away. I, I told him like, hey, we gotta shout out Ireland, man. We got people in Ireland that's really checking for this thing, man. Like, so I agree with you. And it means something like, man, these people that don't know you, don't owe you, they don't owe you the time of day. They get a chance yeah. and and they listen over and over and over again. So it just gives you a different perspective. Like, so nothing is ever local. Everything is global. Like, what, what, how you treat your product and how you treat it is what you're going to get out to it. Yes, sir. That's 100%. And I heard you say something on, I can't remember what track it is, but you hit you hit the five Ps on one of your tracks. Mm. Uh, proper preparation. Yes. Well, uh, um, go ahead. What was it? What was it? Proper preparation for this poor performance. Nothing exactly. Else. I wanted you to finish it out because I that's what I felt about this project, to be 100% honest. And I felt like you prepared this thing. I could tell that there was a lot of preparation and you prepared for it and you and you went through it. And so that I just didn't, I didn't see a poor moment on it. You know, I just, I couldn't find the, 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 I, I'm not going to lie because, you know, I, I wanted to give you some critiques because that's what, you know, that's, that's only being honest. Like that's what we have to do with one another. Like, I wanted to give you some constructive criticism from my my eyes and you know ears as a music lover. You know, so I was like, ah, let me see. I I, I couldn't even. It was hard to nitpick this <laughs> joint. Like I I couldn't even find nothing. You know, when you're looking for something, like let me just find something to take it to this interview when we talk to him. I couldn't. I really couldn't. And bro, what, 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 once you said Frank the Saint name in the shit, I'm like, <laughs> you can't, you can't even, bro, we all love Frank. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, I mean, well, y'all should be so incredible because, like, how you said, like, you, you don't hear a flaw or anything like that. Like, my friends tell me I got Dr. J complex because the, one of the reasons that I haven't put much music out over the years is because I hear something and I hear every little flaw about it. I hear a little 
in the background. And I'm like, no, this ain't ever coming out. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> Sound like me. <laughs> yeah, we can't drop that. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, like, do you was the center, do you was the centerpiece to me of the whole project, even though it wasn't one of the first created, but just the line in there just saying, do you, mm-hmm. it was just, like I said, stop, you know, putting that kind of pressure on yourself. There's no need. Like, you know, you just put it out and people going to say what they feel about it. And so far, it's just been nothing but nonstop love. That's 100%. And I, that was another track that I, I liked because I, I felt that. Like, I felt the messages throughout. There's a message throughout this whole project, yeah. you know, whether it's a bar here, a bar there, or it's the whole song with Haley's song. And one of one of my ones that I said I wanted to get into, I just wanted y'all to hear in this Reason being, I'll explain, but it's the end of the day. And then with something at the end of the day, besides the song being fire as a whole, what really got me is when you said, everybody chase the same, I'm in tune with being different. But I'm in love with different. I'm in love with different. There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah. Hey. That... I live my life to some of them, you know what I'm saying? Some of them quotes. Like I, I hate the same thing over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's one thing like about this podcast, like we say the same thing. Like I hate being the same. And we had this conversation. I'm speaking on a personal conversation that we had real quick. And that was one of my things. Like it's 500 million podcasts out there right now. So I'm like, what are we doing? That's different. You know what I'm saying? So like, and with with your music, I felt that. Yeah. You know, I I just felt that like you. Sometimes, I guess one of the biggest quotes is saying nothing is saying a lot. And in this case, to compare it to you, being you is being different because of that box that you said, where we come where we come from. Of course, there you get so boxed in that you don't understand the outside world. But just being you was being different because there's a whole world out there. That needs to hear this, man. And that's the message that I wanted to give across. Right. And I think you you conveyed that beautifully on this project, man. That's love. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. 100%, man. Yeah, just, hey, just, I, I would say in close, like, man, uh, for me, thank you, you know what I'm saying, for, uh, for multiple things, for being, for one, personally, a uh, brother to me over the years. Thank you for continuing to be in yourself. Thank you for, uh, man, continue to put out this 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 this, this great music that it is cause, because it is a lot of ears like us that that like it. I mean, so you said you just said a number. I mean, even though some numbers just be trying to check in and see, but, hey, them numbers don't lie. You know what I'm saying? It it, it is still it is it, it's, it's still a path for. You know what I'm saying? And I don't call it also. It, it's just the the music be, 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 be before the music now. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that and that and that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, just coming from me, just, man, whatever, any, anything else that, that you got coming out, right, like I said, it's uh, shows, music, anything, you know what I'm saying? Just feel free to reach out to us because, I mean, that's one of the main things we try to do is try to bring people up with us because at the end of the day, we still on, on come up. Like I said, we only been doing this a year, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, doing even doing something like this, you're actually one of the first artists because we, we've been doing this segment it's called like Music Monday when we recognize artists, but you're like the first like live artist that we've been able to interview and, and critique on their project with them there. So that's that's actually a big thing. So shout out to you and we and I appreciate you. 100 percent man. That was actually with me on my run too. I um I had another um uh interview or whatnot, but I wanted to hold it off until I had got to yeah, because like you said, man, you, you come up with your that's people. Love. Oh, yeah. That's love. <laughs> I, I'll what keep you- it short. You got that other video coming, man. I'm in that uh, interview coming. But, uh, hey, I, I love the title. The album is raw. Well, I'm sorry, the tape is raw. <laughs> Facts. And, hey, you, you definitely got a fan in me, bro. And new new fan. New fan, bro. Just, just quick before you go, Tom, do you got any visuals to, uh, uh, you think about coming out with? Yeah, so uh, all, the, uh, all of those things are in the works right now. Yeah. Video. To levels, uh, we're working on that right now. Uh, pressure is coming. Uh, we just discussed the idea for that one. Uh, Paper Planes has one coming. Uh, Haley song, out of all the songs right now, that one is just it's catching. Like people are hearing. I'm, I'm yeah. such a person. Yeah. 
couple mm-hmm. years, especially those that know me, it's like the most of me they ever get. So yeah. let's know over. So um, I got something that I'm working on for that too. But um, also, y'all know anybody working on uh, videos, or anybody doing music, I'm, I'm open, I'm accessible. I, I got like somebody to close to you. When, when, yeah. we off, when we get off of here, I'm gonna I'm uh, send you some stuff personally because I got some people close to you that can um, help you out with visuals yeah. and, you know, that's photo somebody, shoots, somebody videos. Somebody only fans. No, and no. Uh, <laughs> Man, leave my only fans out of this. The fuck? Yeah, also, I also gonna get you in tune with, with my guy, like I said before earlier, but we'll talk about that off off um, off mic, off air. But this is one of my favorite songs and I wanna close this interview out with this, this playing in the background. It, it doesn't have to read, you know what I'm saying? Like, Later, bro. It don't have to be loud or, you know, I just, I like it playing in the background because vibes, the yeah. song, the vibe. You definitely vibe off this That's whole exactly album. what I did. <laughs> yeah. Off this whole album. But this Tell joint, it. I just, I just felt it, man. Like for some reason you, you and the beat made a marriage. Like when you heard this beat, I could tell you said, oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with that. This beat says this, and this is what I heard. Smoke this shit, make me want to roll up. <laughs> and, 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 and going out, I want to take a shot to you. Right? Mm-hmm. Take a shot to you and your success. Yeah, I want to check out something about this song real quick. Uh, take this shot real quick. So, this song actually, bro, I'm sitting around the kitchen table, I'm smoking with my people and whatnot. I hear the beat come on, I write the song, and I record it. This is the last song to make the project. Mm. This is the last one process all the other new songs they didn't end up making it. I like this that's crazy that's crazy I'm glad it did because that's one that caught me for sure yeah. shout out to the raw shout tape to you, yeah. shout out to the raw tape shout out to Devin mm, man shout, shout out to your brother your, your man. flowers man go, yeah. go ahead go ahead there you go bourbon we appreciate you man yes sir man we'll get that up there if you want to Repeat that one more again. I want to make sure we get that across the top, across the bottom, where everybody know. I hope this thing go viral. I hope we get 700,000 to a million hits on this so people can hear. That's why I wanted to be, you know, make sure we played some of this in the background. So not just the interview, but you can hear what you're getting. You know what I mean? It's kind of like sampling the product, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I don't see that nigga Hey, man. Hey. You got you to play with the dope for you become a dope fan. For all platforms. Make sure y'all go stream and run them numbers up for me, please, please, please. BT15. Hey, what, what, what can they all hear that, too, man? I don't think you mentioned that. We talked about your uh, social medias. I'm sorry, what is that? Uh, what, what can they hear? What can they hear the album at? Uh, on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, Deezer, TikTok, Facebook, wherever you consume music at, it's available. My man, my man. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Let me give you a round of applause, my brother. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, Devin, for being with us. In case y'all didn't know, this is Devin, the artist, man, and the Raw Tape is the uh, project that we're talking about. Please check it out, man. No BS, no BS whatsoever. We are 100% yeah, raw yeah, yeah. and authentic about the raw tape. Yeah, we and got the ladies free stamp. Check yeah, it out. We, we, we get the ladies free stamp. Ladies, Definitely. Ladies free. ladies free podcast. 100%. You got that, man, it's from us. That's our stamp. It's, it's on there, man. Let me got... start rapping again, man. I sound like Greg Nice and Nice and Smooth. <laughs> I got a pee. Nigga, can't you see? A B C. Hey, thank you, Devin, man. Salute hey, let's, you, let's man. talk though. Uh, off air, let's 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 you know what I'm saying. Continue this relationship, man. Because whenever you got something going, man, we love to have you on. You are definitely family now on the podcast. So let's stay in tune. And if you come to Houston, we there. Oh yeah, we there. One hundred percent. So, hey, man, if you can't find a venue, man, uh, talk to us too. Jay got a nice little spot. Strip club. Yeah, I got. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he giving up all the songs. Yeah, oh, man, man. <laughs> nasty, nasty. Hey, Jay. <laughs> next single, y'all gonna get it first. Yes, oh, sir. Yes, we sir. will debut that boy yes, quick. Sir. Appreciate that the debut. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, we appreciate that, man. Hey, thank you, man. If you ain't got nothing going on for the rest of the day. 
just know that we will be bumping this yeah. <laughs> throughout our day and whatever's going on. And enjoy your weekend, my brother. And let's let's stay in tune. Seriously, I'll be in tune with you after this. Love, brothers. Appreciate y'all. Love you, love you, bro. Love you, bro. Applause on the way out. Salute to you, man. Raw take. <laughs>